that was amazing wasn't it that short intro was of a golden ore beaver that was placing several strands of spider silk onto its exec if you want to learn more about the species i highly recommend you check out my first video it is a fascinating arachnid for sure in today's video, I'll show you several clips and stills I took of this beautiful specimen, which I thought was dead when I returned to the same spot a couple of days ago and I couldn't see her there anymore. After about a minute or so, I noticed that it had laid an exec on a thorny little branch, which was approximately 60 centimeters away from the primary web. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera with me at the time, so I rushed back home immediately. And I was so lucky because the moment I arrived, it started spinning another protective layer of silk around the exec, which lasted only about two to three minutes. And then it stayed essentially still for the rest of the shoot. So I was super excited to observe and document that action. Anyway, let's roll those clips now and I'll talk a little bit more about the species and the images as well. Here you can see that this rather large female decided to strengthen the protective cocoon-like structure that shields its single exec from potential predators. What's really amazing, if you watch closely, how skilled she is the way she uses one of her hind legs to secure the silk with laser-like precision. You can also spot pieces of bark woven into the sack for camouflage. Or beavers, usually made during autumn, the females of this species in this family of Araneidae sometimes eat the male after mating. The male of this female has been lucky so far, I still spotted it the other day unharmed. The exec that the female lays can hold up to approximately 300 eggs. The baby spiders usually hatch within a couple of weeks, but remain inside their exec until winter is over. Once the tiny spiders emerge from the sack in early spring, they either make small webs near their birthplace or disperse on the wind. It's so fascinating to watch her maneuver amongst those sharp thorns and also towards the end of this clip you will see that it's trying to move a small sprig with her calissery.
After all the hard work, she decided to rest and was enjoying a cool little breeze right next to her babies. I also spotted nearby a couple of leaf curling spiders. If you want to learn about that species amongst others, you should check out this video as well. I captured the next several clips the following day and was surprised to see that the female returned to her primary web. I looked closely and I saw one of her many unfortunate victims being consumed. I found a really interesting paragraph in an article on Kids Britannica about spiders digestion in general and I can highly recommend you check it out if you're interested in learning captivating facts. Spiders digest their food outside their bodies. After their prey is captured, they expel digestive enzymes from their intestinal tract onto the victim. The enzymes break down its body tissues and after a few seconds, the spider sucks up the pre-digested liquid tissues. By repeating this process many times, they digest the entire animal. Spiders have a sucking stomach that is the main pump for drawing food into the body. They can rapidly ingest food because of the wave-like contractions of muscles that surround the stomach and of the muscles that attach to the body wall. The gut of a spider is directly behind its stomach and part of it extends into the front portions of the spider's legs. Branches of the midgut also extend into the abdomen and surround other bodily structures. This large and extended digestive tract allows spiders to survive for many days without feeding. How cool is that single strand of spider silk that is attached to this pre-digested blob? I assume it's just for security in case she needed to attend to something else, she wouldn't lose it. I just briefly want to mention the gear that I used for the upcoming images and also cover the exposure settings. The camera body was my Canon 80D APS-C DSLR. The lens was the EF 100mm macro with image stabilization. For a few select shots, I also used my Reynox DCR snap-on lens for extra magnification. I also had the EX RT2 flash attached with my usual reflector diffuser kit. About the exposure settings, I shot everything at f14 to maximize depth of field while maintaining sharpness throughout the frame without much diffraction. The ISO was between the base ISO 100 and 320. The shutter speed varied between 160th and 120th of a second.
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a comment down below if you have any kind of feedback also let me know if you have encountered a beautiful golden orb weaver before if you're new here and you like the content then please consider subscribing thanks again and see you guys very soon in my next video Bye.